What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Tubby Time. Today, we are venturing back out to the flat top to make a classic Polish dish. This is kielbasa and pierogies. hope you all are doing well today hope you had an amazing labor day weekend we uh didn't do too too much we had some uh, unfortunate events occur in our personal lives but it is what it is and we move on so starting off i got the flat top here obviously two zones on low two zones on medium yeah medium we're going to be starting on the low side here where i'm going to dump down some vegetable oil and we're going to start cooking some onions now onions, I obviously love, but I wanted to do something that would add a little zest to this dish. So I just have a large white onion cut into strips and we're gonna cook these low and slow, just like in barbecue. Just wanna make sure they're all broken up if I can. I'm gonna try to even these out as best as possible. Gonna throw down some salt and our extremely close friend, black pepper. After mixing that up, I'm going to add a good amount of butter. Butter is a huge staple of this recipe. I really want these to caramelize nice. And then we'll add some more vegetable oil. I'm just going to mix these together until the butter is in there and melted. Now for the amount of food we're making today, one whole onion seems like a lot, but this is going to render down a lot. So I want to make sure the ratios were good. I hate waiting. Something the smell of butter and onion is just so good. The only thing that would make this better would be bacon. But I don't think I can do that. The reason I'm making this dish today is because of these lovely fellows. We had this bag of Mrs. T's pierogies in our freezer for like a year almost probably. So I wanted to throw some of these down tonight and use the kielbasa we had as well. So it worked out very nicely. Now, if I didn't mention it already, these are the classic cheddar pierogies. I thought there were potatoes in here. I swear to God. Oh yeah, potatoes. I'm stupid. I guess I need scissors. That's better. Just give these onions one more stir. They are coming along very nicely. We'll throw our pierogies down right here. I'm not making the entire bag. Jeez. Turn that down a little bit. Might be a lot. But whatever. All right, let's get these spread out. I don't want them to burn on one side, so I'm just gonna flip them quick. They're actually, you know what, I'm gonna move them over to this side. That way they can soak in the butter from the onion gonna dump some more oil on them and that oil will also transfer over to the onions give them a nice coating because we're gonna add our good friends salt and pepper after this I'm gonna add some butter to these too because butter pierogies are so much better than just regular 
nothing pierogies. Let's get that butter in there. There we go. Onions are almost done. And what I'll do is I'll add them to the pierogies to slow their cooking a little bit. The smell of the butter coming off is delicious. I can already tell these are just going to be butter-coated, fattening, yummy things. <laughs> Let those keep working. Last but not least, let's throw on our kielbasa. I just got one typical strand. I don't know what the measurement is for that, but this is just Blue Seal. Best kielbasa on the market, in our personal opinion. Pick some up. You will not be disappointed. And this is pre-cooked too, so we don't have to really do too much to this. But one thing I am going to do is I will add some salt and pepper. Now a lot of people will cut these all like really like at an angle or something. I just do quarter inch pieces, just about. This thing is very hot. There we go. I don't want to burn this stuff. I'm going to combine these now just because I'm getting annoyed. Oh, these onions look so good. Everything looks so good. Everything we make is just so good. These are already crisping up very nicely. I'm actually going to move them to the cooler side here. So I don't want to burn anything. And salt and pepper on these too. Kielbasa is already sort of salty, so we don't need too, too much. And pepper. Turn this one off because we're not going to need that. You can see it really crisping up nicely around the edges. We'll let those sit there. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a marinade. So I just got some ground mustard. I'm going to do about two tablespoons, maybe. And then some apple cider vinegar. That was a terrible camera angle. Also two tablespoons of that. Let's give this a nice mix. I saw this marinade on Food Network. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't usually do vinegar marinade, so, well, I don't do vinegar anything, I should say, unless it's barbecue, but. Move all these to the center here. Because we're just about done. Oh God. Shit. Man down. Oh, these flavors are gonna be so delicious. The onions have caramelized perfectly, or caramelized, if you might say that. This little sausage just wanna roll away. And now for the grand finale. Mix some of that up together. Gonna add a little bit of water in here, clean the edges off. Mm. That's an interesting smell. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'm just trying to cut open a pierogi. I want to make sure it's done in the middle. Huh. That's done. Oh my God. That's hot. Jeez. We gotta go for it. One more stir. Perfect. Let's plate it up. The vinegar smell coming off of this is atrocious, I will say, because I hate vinegar. But for someone that loves vinegar, you would love this. Just hoping I don't taste it. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything here. I haven't had pierogies in so long, so this is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to this. Let's just add a finishing touch to this. 
add a little bit of parsley for color. Moment of truth. I'm gonna try to get, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get a progi and kielbasa. Kielbasa tastes amazing, just like it is all the time. Blue seal, like I said, best one out there. And last but not least, the pierogi, even though I already sort of tried that. I couldn't taste it on the other one, but the butter really, really soaked into these. Oh my God, it's so good. Now, now maybe I can do everything at once. Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, oh, the second half of that was really hot. All right, so it's good. It's, it's really good. Um, the vinegar, you don't really taste that. You don't really taste the mustard either. There's a little bit, a little bit of a kick from the mustard and a little bit of like apple cider tasting stuff, but I don't go, oh my God, that's vinegar, that's disgusting. Um, it's really good. Guys, another easy recipe done here on the Blackstone Griddle. If you liked what you saw, please become part of the Fatty Fam. Hit the subscribe button down below. Also drop a like give us suggestions in the comment section for what you want to see on the next episode of Tubby Time. And until next time, stay safe and stay tubby.